Hi, it's David, and today we're going to talk about destorkling your Porsche Boxster and find out if it really does add any horsepower. There's talk online that destorkling your Porsche Boxster will add five horsepower, and there does seem to be some dyno proof that that's possible. However, that proof is just based on forums. Someone could just be messing with people, post it. There's no definitive answer on if it does add any free horsepower. And if it does add horsepower, it's only five horsepower that they're claiming. So you're not gonna feel the difference unless you do a lot of other upgrades. So should you desnorkel your Porsche Boxster? If you have an early 986 Boxster like this one, most people report that the sound is much better above 4,000 RPMs. You can also desnorkel a 987 Boxster or even a 981, although the sound improvement is not supposed to be as good. So if you decide to desnorkel your Boxster, do it for the sound, not just for the horsepower. So I've talked about desnorkeling your Boxster and now you're probably like, what is it? So here's how you desnorkel your Porsche Boxster. So we're gonna show you how to desnorkel your Porsche Boxster and we're also gonna show you if there's any sound improvements over 4,000 RPM. To desnorkel your Boxster, you're gonna want a screwdriver and probably some gloves because otherwise you can easily cut your hand. So we're on the driver's side. For viewers in the UK, you'd be on the passenger side, depending on what hand drive your car is. The first thing is, there's a screw up here that we're going to need to take this screwdriver and a screw. For removing the screw, I find a small screwdriver works really well because there's not a lot of space right in here. Now once you've removed that, kind of wiggle this out and you'll take out this piece. Now from there you'll see that there are these little pieces held in and you want to be careful when you remove the in, inner cover because this could easily break. Just like that. So yeah, it's that easy to break when I snap this off. Fortunately, this is part of Project Boxster R. We're going to be putting a, a mesh screen on here and kind of change the look. So we'll be redoing this. So it's not as big a deal that it broke, but uh, yeah, you wanna be a little bit more careful with that. That, that can happen, These, this is plastic, so it gets brittle easily, and it looks like this one was glued already, so someone else has done the same thing. So this is where the gloves come in handy. Got their gloves, and right in here is where the de-snorkel is. There's kind of this plasticky piece and some metal here. Um, now this plastic can help keep water. Some people have reported that their potential water damage, uh, if you remove the snorkel, but most of those claims have been made by people that are not using the stock air filter. So I live in a pretty dry climate, so I'm not too worried about that. But if you live in a place that rains a lot, think about whether or not you want to risk it or not. Just not, I'm not sure how much this really protects it, but it could protect it from sucking in some water. So you just kind of want to work it back and forth until it comes out. You try, try not to break it, but to pull it out without breaking it. So as you saw, to get that out, I ended up having to use two hands and really tug on it. it. It was in there pretty good, but I managed not to break anything. As you can see, it reduces a lot of the restriction on there. This cone has a bigger opening on one end and a smaller opening at the front for the snorkel. So now all we have to do is put all this back in. And I'm just gonna put this in for now, even with the broken tab, but I'm gonna come back and redo it later. You face it this way so it fits the same. So even with two tabs, this is in pretty well, but I am going to uh, fix this later, but just for this video so that you're not waiting for me to fix it, I'm gonna wanna do that later on the side. All 
I may be fixing this sooner than later. All right, so one thing we can do, see how that's supposed to match up. Try to match it up ahead of time a little bit. So yeah, I ended up breaking two tabs. And uh, so when these things get brittle, they break really easily. So I won't be going online tonight and ordering a new one or uh, looking at some other way to fix it. But for now, this will work. We got it all back in, like I said, and I broke a couple of the tabs. So just prepare for that that uh, if you break tabs, you're gonna to have to buy a, a new piece here, which if your car is like mine, mine's a 1999, it's 20 years old, roughly. And at that point, you gotta assume that these things are pretty brittle. And then we'll go see if this improves the sound. So there you have it. There's a before and after on de-snorkeling and how to do it. And you can decide. I think the sounds a little bit better. It's not like a huge improvement, but it's a bit better. I think that we would also need some muffler upgrade. But for a couple seconds for some free, potentially free horsepower, although I don't know if that's true. Uh, but there is some dyno evidence that might show that it's true. Uh, but potentially for some free, free horsepower, I mean, it's worth a shot. Took me about 15 minutes, most of that was filming. So it's pretty easy to do, and you can always put it back in if you decide you don't like it. The one thing I recommend is being a little more careful with those plastic tabs because they break easily. Thanks very much for watching, and if you liked, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. We're gonna have plenty more with the Porsche Boxer. We've got some coming with our Dodge Challenger and any other car we can get a hold of.